Hello, my dear friend. My name is David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I want to talk about uh, an important uh, mathematics topic that is uh, the limit. So, on my website, you can find a lot of information about software engineering, uh, mathematics, physics, etc. So let's start, uh, you can download this PDF, you can share, you can print, you can do what you want. So let's study together the important concept of limit. Um, the concept of limits is the fundamental to calculus and uh, mathematical analysis. Limits help in understanding the behavior of functions as inputs across certain values, whether finite or infinite. They provide a foundation for defining derivatives, integrals, and continuity. In this document, we will explore the concept of limits, including definitions, theorems, notable limits, and exercises with detailed solutions. So, definition, the intuitive concept, the limit of a function f of x as x approaches a value a is the value that f of x tends to as x gets closer and closer to a. This concept can be visualized by considering how the function behaves as the input value nears a particular point. Formal definition. The formal definition of a limit is given using epsilon and delta notation. Limit as x tends to a of f of x is equal to l. For every epsilon greater than 0 exists a delta greater than 0 such that if 0 less than the modulus of x minus a less than delta, then the modulus of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. One side of the limit, the right hand limit is the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right. So I will write in this way limit as x tends to a plus of f of x. The left hand limit is the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left, and we write in this way limit as x tends to a minus of f of x. For the general limit as x tends to a of f of x to exist, both the left hand and the right hand limits must exist and be equal. Limits at infinity. The limit of a function as x approaches infinity or negative infinity is concerned with the behavior of the function as x grows larger and larger or more negative. And we write in this way. So limit as x tends to infinity, infinity of f of x is equal to L and limit as x approaches to minus infinity of f of x is uh, equal to l. So we uh, we read that as x approaches infinity or as x approaches negative infinity. So infinite limits, so when a function increases or decreases without bound as it approaches a certain point, it is said to have an infinite limit. So limit as x tends to a over f of x is equal to infinity. Limit as x approaches to a over f of x is equal to negative infinity. So the theorems Limit laws, sum law, basically it says that uh, the limit of the sum of two functions is the sum of the two limits. The difference law, the limit of the difference of two functions is equal to the difference of the two limits. The product law says that the limit of the product of two functions is the product of the two limits. 
the quote and the law say that the limit of the ratio of two functions is equal to the ratio of, of the two limits, considering that the, uh, the limit of uh, the um, that is on the um, denominator uh, must be different uh, from zero. So the constant multiple law says that uh, um, limit as x uh, tends to a of c times f of x is equal to c times uh, um, the limit uh, as x tends to a of f of x. So we can bring outside the constant. And the power law say that the limit as x tends to a of f of x raised to n is equal to the limit and everything is raised to n. With theorem, if f of x is less than or equal to uh, g of x, uh, that, that is less uh, than or equal uh, to h of x for all x near a, and the limit as x tends to a, of f of x uh, is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to a, that is L, then the limit uh, as x tends to a of g of x is L, because uh, g of x is squeezed between f of x and h of x. Continuity and limits of function f of x is continuous at a point x is equal to a if the limit as x tends to a of f of x is equal to f of a and this means um, that the limit exists and the function's value at the point is equal to the limit. Intermediate value theorem c v t i v t if f of x is continuous on a closed interval a b and n is any number between f of a and f of b then there exists a number c in the closed interval a b such that f of c is n. Notable limits. Limit as x tends to, a, to 0 plus of 1 over x is equal to infinity. Limit as x tends to 0 minus of 1 over x is equal to minus infinity. Limit as x tends to 0 of sine of x uh, over x is equal to 1. Limit uh, as x tends to 0 of 1 plus 1 over n uh, raised to n is equal to e, the Euler number. And then we can, we can apply, basically this important notable limit and this important notable limit for solving other notable limits and for solving a lot of exercises so if we have a limit for x that tends to zero of tan of x over x it is an indeterminate form because it is zero over zero but we can rewrite tan of x as tan of x over cosine of x and uh, rewriting uh, the argument inside the limit uh, we have sin x over x times 1 over cos x 1 over cos x so we have the limit of sin x over x that we know for x that uh, tends to 0 as x that tends to 0 is 1 and 1 over cos x uh, as x tends to 0 is also 1 so times uh, 1 times 1 is 1 Limit as x tends to 0 as 1 minus cos x over x squared is an indeterminate form because it is 0 over 0, but we can uh, rewrite it in, the, in this way. We can multiply and divide by the same quantity, 1 plus cosine of x, and we obtain at the numerator, uh, so we have the limit as x that tends to 0, and at the numerator we have 1 minus cos squared of x and at the denominator x squared times 1 plus cos x so we know that uh, uh, sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is equal to 1 these are trigonometric best rule 
So we obtain that 1 minus cos squared of x is equal to sin squared of x. So we can rewrite the argument of the limit as sin squared of x over x squared times 1 over 1 plus cos x. We know that this limit is 1, exactly is 1 squared, that is always 1. And this limit is 1 over 1 plus 1. So we have 1 times 1 over 2, that is 1 over 2. Limit as x tends to 0 of ln of 1 plus x over x is an indeterminate form. But for the logarithmic rules, we can write this as the exponent because it is 1 over x in front of L of n, and we know that using the logarithms, the constant in front of the logarithm uh, is the exponent of the argument, so, and replacing x equals to 1 over, 1 over y, we obtain this, that is the notable limits that we have studied, that, uh, that is ln of e, that is uh, 1. Limit of e raised to x minus 1 over x as x uh, approaches 0 is an indeterminate form, but replacing e raised to x minus 1 as y, we obtain that x is equal to ln of y plus 1, so we can rewrite in this way, and we know that is 1. Now we can do the exercises, so the exercise 1 is limit uh, as x tends to 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, if we do the substitutions it is uh, indeterminate form because it is 0 over 0, but we can uh, uh, rewrite the numerator of x squared minus 4 as x plus 2 times x minus 2, so we can cancel these terms and we obtain the limit as x tends to 2 of x plus 2, like 2 plus 2 that is uh, 4, because we can do the substitution uh, 2 plus 2, so it is 4. Exercise number 2. So we have a limit as x tends to infinity of 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 1 over 5 times x squared plus x plus 4. Uh, during the substitution we obtain an indeterminate form infinity over infinity, but we can solve this by factoring x squared at the numerator and x squared at the denominator that we can cancel and we obtain so 3 plus 2 um, over x minus 1 over x squared uh, over 5 plus 1 over x plus 4 over x squared so basically if we have infinity at the denominator we know that the quantity is 0, so we have at the end 3 over 5. Exercise number 3 limit as x tends to 0 of 2 sin x plus 4 tan x over x times cos x plus 2 sin x. So it is, if we do the substitution in indeterminate form, because it is 0 over 0. But we can solve this by factoring x at the numerator and at the denominator. Uh, we can simplify this x with this x, and we obtain sin x over x as x tends to 0, that is 1. Sin x over x, we know that is 1. This is also sin x over x, that is 1. And we know that cos x as x tends to 0, is also 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1 over 1 plus 2 times 1 
at then it is uh, six over three that is two the last exercise is limit as x tend to zero of the square root of cos x minus cos squared of x over 2x squared if we do the substitution we find 0 over 0 that is an indeterminate form so the solution for solving this problem we must uh, factor cos x at the numerator and we obtain the square root of cos x over 2 times 1 minus cos x over x squared. We know that it is for x that tends to 0, it is 1 over 2. We know that it is 1, so it is the square root of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that is the square root of 1 over 4, that is 1 over 2. Conclusion, the concept of limit is a cornerstone of calculus and analysis, providing the basis for defining derivatives, integrals and continuity. Theorems such as the squeeze theorem and the various limit laws are essential tools for evaluating limits. Notable limits are fundamental in understanding the behavior of functions, Mastery of limits is crucial for advancing in mathematical studies, particularly in calculus. So I want to remember that you can find a lot of documents about mathematics, physics, chemistry, software engineering, web development on my website www.david-cortez.com you can chat with me using my personal chat that you can find on my sidebar on the left. You can uh, follow me on my social networks like YouTube, LinkedIn, etc. Uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter and so on. You can download my apps. So I have the, um, the page on uh, Google Play. So recently I have uploaded the, um, this, uh, this app, Software Engineering, and uh, you can also find uh, also apps uh, publishing on the Apple Store. So as the last thing I want to remember you, dear friend, your donation is important, help me update this website and join this community. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!